Hi folks, Ken Benton from the North Branch Nature Center, and I'm going to show you a follow-up project to our pine bark canoes. Here's an example of our canoe. This is a bit larger project, but works on the same premise. You have our pine section here. All right, I've already cut down the line here with my knife. Cut it from end to end. Here's one end. There's the other end. I've begun peeling it off. All right, I'm looking to get one big sheet of bark here. And to help do that, I'm using this stick right here. All right. This stick I'm going to use with a, as a special tool called a spud. And spuds are made for um, helping peel bark off of pieces of wood like this. So you're going to take your spud. Make sure the flat side of your spud is down. I split this piece of willow so it's flat on this side and round on this side. All right. Flat side goes towards the wood. So the round side is up against the bark. You're just going to slide it down in that groove. Don't push real hard. Just hard enough for that bark to start slowly peeling off. All right. You can do this for your canoes too if you haven't made your canoe yet. Just sliding it down and just guiding it down. The idea here is that I'm trying not to split it. All right. Try not to take too much off at once. All right. We're just slowly, slowly peeling it down. All right, till we get to the end. All right, it's all the way off. Set the wood aside. You can work on a different project with that later. All right, now we have our big sheet of pine bark. Now, we're gonna make a basket out of this. You can see it split a little bit on this side. That's okay, I don't need to make a huge basket, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna slice that part off, okay? Make sure your fingers aren't behind the knife. Bark's on a solid surface. My hand's up here, holding the bark. I'm just gonna push down gently and cut down. Holding the bark in place. If you don't cut all the way through on the first time, that's fine. Go back, go over it again. You don't want to put too much downward force. Don't force a knife. All right, cut all the way through. I'm going to put my knife away. There we go. Split part is cut off. All right, we have our big square here. You're going to take a, a corner, and you're going to pinch it up kind of like this. All right, then you're gonna fold it over like so. All right, now what you're gonna do, just like with canoes, you're gonna take your clothespins. It'd be really easy if I had actual clothespins. This is gonna make it harder because I have my stick clothespins. So I'm taking my stick clothespin, I'm taking my cheating stick here, taking it, put it in the groove there that I made, and try to push it down to open it wider, all right? So that gap stays open on its own now. Try to slide that gap over the fold I just made. All right, trying to get it all in there. Without splitting my clothespin. Getting it over that piece there. Oh, split my clothespin. But you know what? That's okay, I'm gonna try something else. Close pin, pin is split, but I'm going to take a piece of rope and try tying it up. I'm going to take the rope, wrap it around just above my bark there, wrap it around really tight to hold that in place. All right. Cut the excess off. All 
All right. So I'm going to tie that off just like so. Pulling it nice and tight. All right. So we have one corner held in place by our clothespin. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Take the corner, pinch it towards itself, like so. All right. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to fold it over like that. Take my, another clothespin, I'm going to pinch it right on there. I'm going to do my best not to split this clothespin. Take my stick, put it in there, into the clothespin to open it up a little bit. Slide it right over your bark. This one looks like it's going to go a little easier. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, take my achievement stick out. There we go. Close pins are holding it in place. Flip it around, do the same thing on the other side. Pinch corner, itself like that. Gonna fold it over towards the middle there. And do the same on the other side. You have them meet like that. All right. And take a clothespin and slide it over top of it to hold it in place. Open your clothespin up. Put it over the bark. Like so. Same on the other corner. Alright, slide it over the bark, just like that. There you go. You let this dry at least 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, take it inside, put it in a dry place, and you'll have a basket.